So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So last and but not least of the entire new Ford Ranger lineup, what I have here is the 2023 Ford Ranger XLS 4x2 manual transmission. So I did a very short 30 second review of a limited edition XLS. Link of that will be somewhere above here or in the description down below. This is actually the last model that I never did a full walk around tour. And of course, I chose the manual variant because I've driven a lot of Rangers already with this engine and with the automatic transmission. I was speaking of engine, let's talk about that now. So like the XLT, the Sport, Ranger Wildcat 4x2, and the XL 4x4 manual transmission. So it is the same throughout. This one is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder diesel engine that produces 170 horsepower and 405 newton meters of torque. And like all of the Rangers in all of my reviews, there is a space here so there's already rumors that the V6 models are coming here very soon so let's keep our hopes high on that. Being the XLS variant, this is also well one of the base models of the Ford Ranger lineup. So this and the XL model are the only models that do not have the C-clamp LED DRLs here but you only end up here with halogen lights. There's not even a fog lamp over here. Ground clearance is still the same. Similar with the XL, you have body colored skid plates as well here. Yep, just making sure that there's a sport as well over there. I also have a walk around review of that as well. So on the exterior, mostly the same and unlike the XL brand where you only have 15 inch steel wheels, this one comes with 16 inch alloy wheels at least. And yet again, unlike the XL brand, this one finally comes with a sidestep. So here now at the rear of the Ford Ranger XLS, it is pretty much the same like the XLT and unlike the sport model, this still doesn't have an assist for the tailgate. I'll just insert that old joke here right now. So at least everything is still the same, but I didn't mention this in all of my Ranger reviews. There is a ruler right here on the tailgate. I just literally saw that right now. And everything here is the same like in the XLT. And actually all of the Ranger models, you still have your clamp supports here and four tie-down hooks on each side. And like the XL van, this does not come with a bed liner, but at least payload capacity is still the same throughout. Like the XLT and the XL, this does not have the 12 volt socket and the 220 volt outlets here on the side. And like the XL as well, you only have halogen lights here for the tail lights. So that's about it with the exterior and the load bed of the Ford Ranger XL. Let's show you the interior. Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> So this is the interior of the 2023 Ford Ranger XLS. Still as good like all of the Ranger variants. So yada yada yada, everything's the same here on the door card, a lot of plastic. Although very weird for this XLS brand, you still have leather wrap elbow pads here. Anyway, at least that, well actually that's the only leather thing in here. And for this wrap around the manual transmission, yet again, I like this manual transmission. I really wish I can drive it. And the clutch feel, the the throw of the gears, it's, it feels exactly the same like in the XL van. So yet again, you have the fancy door handles. You have two cup holders on each side of the door and cubby spaces fit this water jug perfectly. Here on the left side, you have the nice air conditioning vent again. Your light controls are just below with two cubby spaces. And then steering wheel, unlike the XLT now, this one's similar with the XL variant, it's just polyurethane. And <laughs> it's really hard though, yeah, but then I get still nice to the touch at least. And unlike 
the XLT. Now, you don't have cruise control now for this XLS variant. Even though you get the automatic variant, there is no cruise control whatsoever for the XLS variant and the XL. So, back in the steering wheel, like I said, there's the absence of cruise control here on the left side. But you have at least for your volume controls and then vo voice commands here for the infotainment system. And on the right side, you have adjustments for your digital instrument cluster and for your phone connectivity. But like every other Ford Ranger, even the XL, which is so nice, you still have that 8-inch digital instrument cluster and the 10-inch infotainment system. And below that, you have a single zone climate control and like every other Ford Ranger. Again, you have your safety reminders here on top of the dashboard. But now on top of the dashboard, yeah, there's a lot of plastic. But then again, I forgive it because it's one of the base models anyway. And as well, the seats here, they're now fabric. Where in the XLT, you get leather seat. They're very soft there compared with the... Uh, leather for example like in the Waltac 4x2 although both seats either way they're still comfortable even the boasting is pretty similar to the Ford Ranger range <laughs> below the air conditioning controls there's a cabby space one USB-C port one USB port my phone fits and you only have one functioning button here for your diving modes and then here in the center console you still have two cup holders a manual handbrake and then back here in the dashboard I like there's a but polymetal gray trim here on the dashboard and then there's an extra storage here for your phone, glove box. It's alright. And then here again with the center console box, that's plastic now. Open it up. You have decent amount of space again. There's a double socket and a place for your key. It's very funny, there's still a place for your key here but this is one of the models that you have to turn on manually with a conventional key. So above here you have sunglasses holder lights and then visors you only have a ticket tape holder and being dangerous they don't extend yet again only the everest extend yeah so that's about here in front well the rear seats same story you have yada 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 and again you have two coat hangers there fabric seats yet again and here behind the center console box you have a cubby space a 12 volt socket and at least like all of the ranger brands there's extra storage here in the middle of the seat you only have one map pocket on the passenger side sadly and for this xls model there's no central armrest like the xl model but space there is still pretty excellent i mean they're all the same in the entire ford ranger range so the price difference between the xls and the xlt is quite big as well so comparing both brands there is a 101,000 peso difference yes the xlt is a little bit better equipped like cruise control as i said better seats as well there's a lot more amenities in the xlt model but at least throughout the ford ranger range again in the infotainment system you still have apple carplay and android auto which is plenty good enough for me but being this the xls manual variant this one costs 1,198,000 pesos so there is a 75,000 peso difference between this and the automatic variant although weirdly this one is priced exactly the same as the xl model in the xls model I mean the side steps already there so and also you have good set of wheels already so it's up to your preference so that concludes my walk around and the final review of the entire Ford Ranger range why do we keep saying that now so I'd like to thank Ford Edsa Green Hills Mrs. Yee and Sir Paolo for making this walk around review possible and to Miss Lair her contact details will be right here and yet again I promise to do my Waltac 4x4 review which will finally happen this month and at a very special place yet again so hope you guys like and subscribe and i will see you with more ford reviews and the finale the ranger wild tag 4x4 review bye bye